Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to the Sunion Files with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, last time we learned a lot of things that, uh, you know, Ota pretty much left her at the crime scene after panicking. Tessa is definitely a little witch because of that little smirk that she did. And plus, she took a video of her guy and bet money he's gonna come back to the office or something like that. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck did you do? And then next year you're gonna see that video like all over the internet. Bet money that's what she's about to do. And I'm suspicious of her because any person that literally heard about their friend like going to the hospital out of shock because they saw a dead body and your first impulse is to literally ask to go to the crime scene and see the body. And not because, not because it's like, oh, I want to help my friend out. Uh, or even say, hey, which hospital is my friend at? I want to go and comfort her. No, that your first impulse is to go, go and do whatever you want to do at the crime scene. Like, you didn't even care about Mizuki's well-being at all. Like, so, you're a fucking two-faced bitch. So, uh... Trust me, she's about to cause trouble for my guy. I can, I can already tell. Poor Date. But, uh, yeah, let's get into it. And if you guys like this game and, uh, and want to see more videos of it, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Let's dive on in. He's oh, mad at us. No. <laughs> He's so jelly right now because we got to hug Tessa. But Tessa, she's she's up to something. She's got an evil plan up in her little noggin. And she's acting like dumb and adorable at the same time. Because that's probably her persona. But you know, she's up she's up to something. Watch. Watch. This this whole interaction is going to bite us in the ass later. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Oda is staring daggers at me. Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? I knew it! I knew it! You wouldn't. Just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. <laughs> Her face is like, so what you gonna do? Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Yeah. Is, is Asa has a rather inappropriate smile on her face given the circumstances. He's like, you bitch. I told you. I told you she was up to something. I bet she's still gonna put up that video anyway. Oh, wait, we get we get to drive now? We get to look inside stuff? I like your steering wheel. I can only see her legs. I can't, like, see the rest of her. Okay. What can I click on? The glove box. Hey, you got any guns in here? Yo, girl. I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. The center console. It's got AC and radio controls in it. Hmm. 
the car isn't domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. Anything else? Well, and Indians use the left too. What? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. The dashboard. The dash is torn up. It's a ton of stuff built in. It's the speedometer, taxometer, and other meters and gauges. This ride is pretty rad, huh? It is indeed rad. <laughs> rad. She's like, I don't know what that word means. Oh, there we go. There's another one. The gear shift. I keep trying to see if I can click on her and like have a conversation or something. Oh wait, I can click on things through this? I did not know this. Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Ah. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Why do you ask? The two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? Yeah... You tell, him, uh, tell her about what he's been doing on the internet, and he'll start... She'll start looking at him in a different light. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. Which I'm sure you do a lot. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office. And he hooked me up. Because he owns it. What's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But, but you, you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Wow, really? Whoa, whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! So if you don't get your way, you're just gonna post stuff? Oh my god. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Everyone's <laughs> just looking like, um... Just kidding! I hope so. 
Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Why? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Hmm. That reminds me of a certain mental lock we went through. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Mm hmm. Something wrong? No, there's nothing. Excuse me, you Konami Date? That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Teens, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna hold back her assignment and rush onto the scene. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. How was she in there? Yeah, you would think that she would have ran away too after a hot minute, but she stopped but she started to hide inside the column. So did like someone like appear and she was like, oh shit. Gotta hide. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. <laughs> She's in front of my eyes. I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here, like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. Imagination? But, yeah. <laughs> I do. Well, let's hear it. The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet. And that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the Eye of Providence. The Eye of Providence? I have eyes here. The all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Ha, huh, the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Blue Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. 
Oh, Dad, that that must have sucked. You over here riding a roller coaster next to you, there's just like a nuclear plant just goes off haywire. Next thing you know, you're a freaking mutant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. Didn't you like clear out the air or something? They couldn't do anything about that? But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Yeah, especially since kids even came in to pull a prank on the horses. Like, obviously no one's stopping them from going in or going out. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Wow. Are they okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are True. we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Then why can't y'all just reopen the park in the district if it's gone? The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. When we arrived but it was gone. Scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth, he would have no reason to lie about such a detail. So she. Suki? Yeah, she probably took it out of her. She probably couldn't, like, stand to see her mom like that and, like, wanted to, like, take it out. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, Zoom? What's there? Shoku's course was tied up here. Hmm, wait a I second. Know. Can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause problem? of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds from the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. Mm, very true. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. So it's exactly as I said before. She was probably killed someplace else. Oh snap, did not mean to do that. She was probably killed someplace else and then... Oh wait, no. Yeah, killed someplace else. Someplace else. Took out the eye. No, they took out the eye first because they said she was still alive when they did it. So they took out her eye, killed her, tied her up to the horse, and then, for finishing touch, put the ice pick in her freaking eye socket. And then just left her there. That must mean. What else is here? A local cop. All right. Is that a phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. But hey, if you sense any trouble. How old are you making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. I mean, I mean, yeah. Because phone boots are pretty much extinct at this point, so she's probably older than what she's saying. Wait a minute. Is it just me, or did you move? 
The type they can put a, a coin black in. And white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Okay, you didn't mention it, so yeah, whatever. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. It looks pathetic. The holographic caution tape. One day they'll have a, a holograph caution tape. Maybe one day. What else am I supposed? Oh wait. It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Okay, so I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for. There's a hole in it now from all the years of weathering. Okay. That's not found Mizuki there. Okay. A metal uh, uh, pole. Uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. Really? You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? Nobody said anything of the sort. God what damn. What are you talking about? Supposed to be looking for. Here's the first wheel. It still reminds me of a giant eye staring down. We're in another cold fall. Okay. I'm just clicking on everything until we get like some type of reaction here. It's a bench. I wonder how many couples sat there. It makes me kind of angry for I some would reason. I'd burn all those damn benches if I could. Where is this anger coming from? <laughs> She's like, why are you suddenly angry? Why does it only have to be for couples? I don't see no reservation on it. A parasol. Okay. Oh, did she learn something new? That's not- I found Mizuki here. No, I'm trying to click on Iris, not- yeah. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Hey, you alright? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. Huh. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Okay, what happened there? It didn't seem like she was faking that. I don't think she was kind of lying about dying. I think she knows something, like she's like... I'm, I'm fucked. Like, she's like, I know I'm screwed in the near future. Okay, let's talk to her again. Oh, uh, horrible. 
shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. Oh my god. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Iris, open the pasture window. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Dante. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Oh my god, would they stop? <laughs> hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. You guys probably have. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Oh, is this our house? Looks very nice. You should come in. Is this the house in, in your dream slash memories? It looks like it. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already. I said my goodbyes and turned to leave, but I have the clear of my eye. It's the it's the lady. Oh, who is this, Iris? I felt my body freeze because that woman, she's Yeah, didn't she die? No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mom and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. He's like, this is so strange. You're nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. <laughs> He's looking at her like, what the hell? Did she like, what? Okay, they said it was a memory, right? So, did she survive the gunshot? Because, I mean, she looked pretty dead. And, and, I mean, she looked really dead. Now, if the black haired guy comes out of that door or something, next, like, everything's peachy, we're gonna have to do some, do some real thinking right here. Because either your memory is fucked up, or you can see into the future. But, we'll see. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemniscate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. <laughs> She's like, I'm a computer. Of course I know. 
I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yup. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Ooh, it's a very sour memory. I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. Then who was the guy that shot you in the face? I'm assuming the face, since the skeleton had a freaking red eye, so I'm assuming the face. A single mother. Yes. Yeah, I feel like there's way more than what, what they're saying, though. Huh, the lamp looks a little different, but... Looks a little... Yeah, this is definitely the room in our dream. So... Like, again, either we've been here before, or you can see into the future. This door in the back of the room. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> and they're called irises. Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. Oh, so it's a family house. Two generations have lived I've there. I thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. Huh? Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? Yeah, I was really looking at that too. Like, I was like, I don't know if it was just like the animation or whatever, but I just saw that she didn't, like, move her right arm at all, like, period. Not even a twitch. So I thought it was just the animation, that's why I didn't say anything, but I guess it's that's not supposed to happen. Oh, uh, mom used to be right-handed. But now, hmm. It locked up on me. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, I see. Iris was hinting about the flowers bloom behind her. What well, can I see? Oh, okay, they're right there. I thought they were like directly behind her. The flowers. It's an iris. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. A winter iris, it means good news and hope. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. 
How am I supposed to react to that? Don't exactly. You'll only hurt yourself. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? Yeah, we probably will. You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. <laughs> she said, what? What does that mean? Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Oh, okay. Play a game. Let me do myself focus. You've got this. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. Really? You're talking you to yourself. Do not appear to be fine. Look, a crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. with them. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Wow. Not at all. Why would I hide them there? They just don't stop with the puns in this game. Dashboard. Dashboard. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. <laughs> ah, he kills Perhaps me. He's had too much medication. So he is on meds regularly. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> I always fit it into the center of the wheel. Really? Holy crap, I never noticed that. Ivo is literally in the wheel. I thought he was just like closing his eye just to close his eye, but no, he removed his freaking eyeball. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Approximately 5 p.m. I wonder who sent okay. that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Exactly, so who did she get then it from? Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Oh, about there, you're not gonna show me anything? Death is yesterday, Friday, 
Around 5 p.m., the cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. Not the ice. The weapon thing. used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Exactly. I'm already ahead of you, like, uh, keep up. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. <laughs> no, they did not. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. But nobody knows what the message is. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. Oh my god. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? This game is very obsessed with eyeballs. Could she have taken the eye? No, I don't think she take it she took the eye. I think they already took Oh man. I think they already took the eye out, put it in their pocket or jar, wherever the hell they put eyeballs of their victims, put the body up, and then, you know, as a cherry on top, just stab the eye pick into her freaking skull. And I think, like I said before, I think she just couldn't stand seeing her mom like that, so she took the ice pick out. Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? That is odd. That means somebody told somebody to pull some strings and make sure nobody was in the area. I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Well, you just said there's no cars, but what about boats? You say you can get on there by boat. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. This is key. Oh, she just looks dull in the eye. You, there's no life in there right now. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. <laughs> That's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now. Oh, we gotta interrogate the poor girl. Sync with her. Oh, it's a big machine we gotta do. Is this how you interrogate people? Streamed 
Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. She can't hear me from here. Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, <laughs> I will self-destruct in your eye socket. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> so you were listening, huh? His real name is Ammoniama, but he goes by Pewter here. 36 years old. He's a member of Abyss like me. He's a genius engineer that designed the sync system and other machines. He's also invented Aiba. He's her caretaker, uh, caretaker in a way. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. God damn, where is this man? Why would he? I don't know. If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. Well, the only can we do can. it? Like, can we? Oh. Maybe? This machine is known as the sink machine. The door to the psych room. I mean, can I? Like, go into the room? The exit, okay. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no... Pr Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? But how do we get started? What, what is the button? Okay, there it is. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. I know, I bet it would feel really weird for someone else to just dive into your, into your head like when that. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. 
Uh, not too regular. Her mom's gone. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss, Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their mind. Our job is to find it. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? When this is all over... Let's go get some of that stew you like. Let's go get some sushi. Let's go get some ramen. Let's go some unagi. Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw-up? But it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but... You loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or...? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Not hey, her heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. See? We, we can- we can comfort children. Leave us alone, Iva. Not hey, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. New feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Is it like uh, the Matrix? Next thing you know, they're gonna get stabbed in the freaking neck? Date, you ready? Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium what? world. What? Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. Okay, so this is a lot gentler version, uh, version of the Matrix machine. They don't just get stabbed in the neck, you know, and just have a permanent hole there. I'll oh, lose Iba for this. Iba, we only got six minutes. Let's do this. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking Terminator? That, that's what she's referencing it from. Oh my god. I thought this just, that's just how she enters the mind, but apparently not. If you're trying to do that, you have to do it naked. True. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. Like, she doesn't want to remember the scene. Like, this scene is forbidden. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of Sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? 
Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Oh, thank God, because I'm over here. I was like, if these, if this puzzle is like super hard, we're, we're gonna be here for a minute. Somnium scan, activate. Mental lock one. Mental lock two. Oh, we got three mental locks. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Iba, speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Time limit. There's six minute time limit in Sonia. Time is spending whenever Iba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right corner. Unlock all mental locks within 360 second time limit. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's. Um, put out. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. All right. Redirected the lightning. Okay, easy enough. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Timings are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Timings only affect the, the time taken to perform an action. You are only able to hold three timings. Picking up a tiny when you already have three will replace one. Timings are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. This appears to be the microphone for the speak. Stop it! Yeah! Stop it already! The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Oh snap, where are we going? Expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. 
I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? I know, you just kept saying rubber. I was like, it's a balloon. Stop saying rubber. You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. Um. Oh, no, not peek. Oh, crap. There are I did not mean to do that. Inside. Looks like they'd fly away. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are on cause and effect or screwed up here. A bird cage. There. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> What? But it was so heavy. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. Retry you. Retry will allow you to return to a safe point just after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back one lock costs one. Going back two costs two. And going back three will cost all three. You regain your three retries by, by selecting restart from the menu and, or by failing the sink. This is likely the best option if the time is low. A deflated Agent rubber. Date, you've got five minutes. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? Understood. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Oh my god. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet! Um, uh, where are you going? Ah! You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. A story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. It was one of the nice healing ones, but the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why Mizuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way they could never fly away again. But I guess Aiba and I made her relive a painful memory. All right. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Selecting the map icon will bring up a map of the current summer world. You can see your current location and objects you've investigated on the summer map. If you are lost and want to save time, try checking the map. How do I? Oh. So we're right here. So I think I want to go to that panda for some reason. It's the only thing that's kind of spinning right now. I don't know what that is over there. Panda is... Wear it? Like this?
How are you doing that? Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. It was kind of fun, though. Hey, Dante, you've got four minutes. Dang it. Um. So we got the gate. We have the microphone. We got the parasol. So let's go back to the microphone then. A mic. is spinning freely. Leave it to me. Oh, it's hot. I do not think force is the answer here. The parasol is spinning. Think of it like a girl's skirt. Silence, Date. My god, stop. Wow. Whoa! What is this? Merry-go-rounds can fly? Date, over there! Iris. She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Say something! Don't make me into the bad guy! Please! What's that look, huh? Hell! I'm, I'm sorry! It's all your fault. You! You! I wish you had never been born! Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Iba, look out! What? Oh, crap. What is going on? It was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed the 30 second time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up, you might be able to do it. Hmm, more than one second when you when you clear, you get a prize. No boss, anything but that. It's Mizuki. Give present, break glass, encourage, speak kindly. Let's speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. <laughs> Mom 
love you, Mrs. I love you. I am so glad that you were born. So, so glad. Aren't you technically lying to her? Because uh, the mom hey, said in black and white that she was gone. Something? Is that a phone ringing? Where, where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! Awaken. Okay. Dang, we barely got any time. But we did it. Are you okay? Azuki. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. He's like, oh god. He's like, God damn it, you're a failure. <laughs> yeah, but there's more life in her eyes now. Urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate. Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay, but if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> Alright. Understood. Understood? Great! Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was wiped. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere, or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. 
What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. I'm still gonna try. Still gonna try. Maybe Mizuki. she'll say a word or something. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. She didn't answer. Alright guys, it looks like I'm gonna have the head, uh, we'll end the video right here. Um, even though the game itself said that we healed Mizuki, the story itself said that we didn't heal her all the way. I think that's because on the, on the bar it had like two ways to heal her. I think you had to like simultaneously like get both. If you got one or the other, you didn't hear her completely. So I think we healed a part of her because there there's more life in her eyes now than there were before. So we healed something, but we didn't heal it all the way. So that's why she's still like this. And why was Iris's frozen body in her dream? Like that makes no sense whatsoever. And and as far as we know, Iris was not at the crime scene as far as we know. So it's kind of like, why was she in the dream? There's so much mystery going on here. I uh, cannot wait to see what happens next. And you guys will see that as well in the next video. If you guys like this game or want to see more videos of this series, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. See you guys later.